WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 15th day of July, mid-month, and we've got a really exciting month uh, up until now. So that uh, buy signal to buy mode generated on the 3rd of uh, June at 24,701 low um, is now to over 2,500 points higher. And this is in leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology. This is where you start to expect some kind of resistance to uh, take place. That move on Friday, especially the very last part of the session, spiraling right into not just the 27,000, but the 27,300 was really important. Um, it does a couple of things. It throws the whole uh, idea of this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, turns it now into at least a shorter term support zone between 27,020 to the 26,875 uh, area. You can see in the weekly chart, there's a leg E nicely above the peak D. MACD is good. Stochastic's now at 95%. That is really strong. And uh, look at this monthly chart. Nine months from the January high of uh, 26,616 down to uh, 23,344. A few months later, then boom, to a slightly new high in October, 26,951. And then whoosh, down to the 21,712 December low. And now... We're sitting today at an all-time high as we speak, 27,307. The high today was 27,364. And it's testing the inside way, inside track, Chapman Wave resistance, the repellent line, right there. I, I'd been asked about this wedge. I'll talk about it in my show um, coming up straight after this. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up at 12.05. And the other thing we're looking at here is that uh, for subscribers to my opening call, we have been long and we're going to try to stay long. So uh, since the low of uh, June the 3rd. Now, this is the issue. The S&P is lagging. It was lagging Friday. It's lagging a little bit today. It's down 3.53, but it made an all-time high. 3,010 today went to 3,017.80. If I do this, I'll talk about this as well in my in my show. Look right here between 3020 and 3027. You've got a lot of resistance. This is automated Chapman wave resistance. So we'll be talking about that. We're talking about gold, which is holding in quite nicely after a really good move, but it's really stuck in the sideways trading band, and the dollar is the same thing. The dollar is trading. Um, it's a gold was down a fraction. Dollars up a little. I'll talk about that more in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up within another couple of minutes. Of course, we've got program all day. Stay tuned to TFN, and I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> 